Hey guys, it's Matt. Um, real quick little video here. I got an email from uh, the people at Panda tonight saying that Beta 2 was out. I posted that on my site and um, they kind of go through and highlight what they've done um, with the since, since Beta 1. The big one was the synchronous real-time cloud scan. Um, that one's huge because as soon as you open an item it should be scanned by the cloud right away and then um, you know a panda should take actions on that right away. Um, and then they have a few other things here. So in a, this is, it says in addition panda will still release beta 3 in September prior to its final release. Blah, blah, blah. All right, You remember the last review it didn't do so hot. It missed almost mm, I think half or almost everything I threw at it. And um, I tried it out tonight. It says version 00.08.81. So that, that version is current. Uh, it's like it came out on the 30th, yes, yesterday. Okay, nothing really looks different. You know, it's pretty much the same thing. You install it, it installs fast and all that stuff, and you don't have to update it. So I just got curious and I decided, oh, okay, well, it is 10-ish, getting sort of late for me because I have to get up so early, but I thought I'd go ahead and test it out real quick, and here's what I found out. I threw um, probably a dozen URLs against it, and it seems like it catches about half of them and lets the other half right through. So. There's something going on. I'm not sure. <laughs> well, I'm not sure what it is, but they've got some more work to do. Anyway, here's uh, my system configuration utility. You can see some stuff that's already been loaded at boot. You know, this is malware and this is malware. And you can see my panda icon down here. I have a Trojan here on my desktop, desktop called Kubeface. This is that Facebook worm. If I scan it, and this is um it's like three days old. Um, it doesn't find it. So let's take this file and just to make sure it really is a virus or worm, whatever you want to call it. Let's try to go to um uh, oh boy, I have a mental slip here. Virus total. <laughs> God, I don't know what that is all about. Alright, so virus total will go ahead and check whatever file you uploaded against almost every scanner out there. I want to see if the regular Panda scanner um, catches it. I'm just kind of curious. So, sending the file. The file's already been analyzed, so somebody's already uploaded this. 16 out of 40 people, out of 40 antivirus engines, have caught it. So we'll show the last report. A squared caught it. AVG detects it as rootkit. Bitdefender catches it. Dr. Webb, eSafe, FSecure, GData, Icarus, Kaspersky, McAfee. Microsoft, Nod, Prevex, Rising, Trend Micro, and that's about it. So some some pretty big other people uh, miss this as well. Uh, a lot of other ones. A lot of other antiviruses miss it. So it's not exactly not exactly easy. So you can see Panda's regular scanner missed it as well. So that is Kubeface, and that is on my system now. And um, it did catch some things. If you if you look in, you know, it caught like seven Trojans. If I click see events report, I think it'll bring up some more junk here. And yeah, these are the files that it actually caught. But for the seven it caught, there's probably another seven that got right through. I'll show you, for example, this PC now has a root kit. If I open up Mozilla Firefox, which usually has never any adware bound to it, right? Barely ever. 
It's kind of hard, actually. When I search for free antivirus... And I try to go to AVG. I get redirected to some malvertised whatever. Who knows what they're advertising? It's probably loading more stuff on here. You can see all the redirects up here, they're insane. And I'm redirected to infodingo.com, which is malvertised constantly. So, anyway, I just wanted to um, let everyone know that I tried out Beta 2, and some work needs to be done on it still. I'm not sure what. I'm not a developer. Just a tester. Anyway, i got to go off and do some other things. Talk to you later.